We're training a language of sensations. And what we do is associate sensations with activities. The first thing he will, he, he has heard me say, he has heard the sound of a kissing sound when I want him to move. And now I am going to touch him with the whip. And he hates the whip, so you will see him move. Then I am going to present the whip without touching him and only use the sound. Okay, that's what happens when he feels the whip. Whoa. Now I am going to associate presenting the whip with the sound of a kiss. Good boy. Now I am going to put the whip down at his feet and I'm only going to use the sound of the kiss. of more weight on the left side. I'm gonna let him, he's gonna feel that in combination with the kiss sound. doing it from left weight, right rein, left weight, right rein. So they learn to do things from... Brownie, don't try to destroy my whip. Get your foot off my whip right now. what's behind him even. He's even getting... Um, don't. Don't do that. Don't be impatient. So whip off the ground is now beginning to mean something. And whip on the ground means stop. Ready? Off the ground. On the ground. Good brownie. Good boy. You are a good boy. It's not perfect and you're still angry, but you know what? It was very good. Quite the little athlete. Good. 